What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. Hey, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys some footage of Trials of Osiris here on Twilight Gap. All the footage today in this video is taken from a couple of two-man trials cards that I did with Apex Chris. And we got to, I think it was game like seven or eight on both cards. And uh, unfortunately, uh, our, <laughs> our attempts were... Uh, thwarted by a couple of really terrible connection lobbies. Uh, scenarios where you would you'd kill somebody, watch their body hit the ground, start to walk away, and then you'd drop dead and it would say that that person killed you or something, and you're like, um, what? <laughs> but uh, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But uh, other than that, we had a lot of really good games, a lot of really good fun, so as, as we always do. So I just wanted to sort of unpack some of my thoughts on this map, and this is the last day, at least for this week, that you can uh, get your flawless done on this map so if you've yet to do that here's sort of my take on the map and how it's best played now there are a lot of angles and a lot of elevation changes on this map so uh, whenever you get into maps like that uh, grenades are a huge factor huge huge factor so make sure that you're being very conscious of your grenades especially if you have grenades like um, trip mines spike grenades or lightning grenades they work wonders on this map because of how many walls there are and how a lot of the most contested areas on the map have four walls <laughs> or uh, many walls that you can use to your advantage to get angles with those uh, sort of AOE wall sticking grenades. So make sure that you are using those walls to your advantage. Uh, also skip grenades can be pretty strong here in Axions as well. Just make sure you're really cognizant of your grenades and uh, lead your engagements with them if you can. Now, the spawns are extremely imbalanced in this map, so <laughs> the inside spawn, if you get the inside spawn on this map, the seaside spawn, then you have um, pretty much uncontested access to top mid, to the capture point, and uncontested access to the heavy ammo spawn, which spawns in party room. So that is uh, extremely imbalanced. <laughs> so. If you get the inside spawn, you may want to change up your loadouts depending on which spawn you get. If you get the inside spawn, I would actually recommend, uh, if you're comfortable with it, having two shotgunners on your team. Uh, at least. You could even triple stack shotties if you get the inside spawn. Because basically all you have to do is stay up there, maintain top control, use grenades, and uh, lock down the access points to top mid, which are pretty manageable if you get control there, to be honest. And uh, it can play kind of slow if you play that strategy, but it's highly effective. Take top control and uh, maintain it. Use your grenades, pull out your shotguns if they push up. There's a lot of, uh, just don't peek uh, like A rail, because you can get picked off from snipers and scouts and pulses uh, from A rail. So stay away from peeking that unless you have a sniper to challenge it. But uh, yeah, stay within cover on these boxes, maintain top mid control, make them be the ones to push. They have to eventually because you've got the capture point and on round three, you've got the heavy ammo box. So keep that in mind. If you spawn on the outside spawn, the A side spawn, then uh, you it may behoove you to have one or two, uh, maybe even three snipers on your team, and then hand cannons if you have to push up into top mid. But um, I find if I get that outside spawn, I generally try to stick to the outside uh, of the map, not the in, not from this perspective, the right side is the inside, right? There's lots of tight cores, but now I'm on this sort of outside area of the map. And there's lots of angles here. You can push up on the catwalk uh, up towards, like right here. See this angle? You can look straight over into party room from there. A lot of guys use uh, that angle with snipers and lock that down. But you're gonna wanna keep someone towards the back to, uh, Keep an eye on the B crates right up on uh, where top B is. There's some crates there that people like to head glitch on. So a lot of times if you're more comfortable with one spawn or the other, what you can actually do, and we did this a number of times, we preferred the outside spawn for the way that we played. So if we got the inside spawn, a lot of times we just push straight through cannons and around uh, behind A and then take that back A spawn, uh, the outside spawn instead. So we just kind of rotated the map and then we played the angles that we had been playing pretty well. So keep those things in mind. Hopefully you guys can get your flawless uh, in today. I'll be streaming, doing uh, raffles this afternoon. Feel free to stop by. And uh, guys, I hope to catch you in the Crucible.